Hey everyone, it's Jason here, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on some of the basics of Resonite. Once you get through the tutorial, the, the audio wizard to get your mic and your headphones working, you're going to be put into your own version of this cloud home. And I recommend that you spend some time just wandering around, uh, pushing buttons, playing with different gadgets, and getting used to the uh, interaction that happens here in um, Resonite. One of the important things is to learn how to open and close your big menu. Um, every controller is different. On my index controllers, it's just a, uh, a button push on the bottom of my uh, uh, this, the bottom button. On your Quest, it might be a different button. On your Vive, it might be a long press. Um, just figure out what button that opens and closes um, that menu, because you're going to use that quite a bit. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that your microphone and um, headphones are working so that you can talk and people can hear you and that you can hear them. That should have been set up in the tutorial, but if it didn't or if it breaks and you need to do it again, you can do it here in the Settings tab. And you're gonna look for these two buttons right here. Select audio input and select audio output. Input is your mic and output is your headphones. If you click here, you're gonna see a big list of audio sources, but don't be overwhelmed. You're only looking for anything that says microphone. If it doesn't say microphone on the left, you can just ignore it. Those are other audio stuff going on in Windows. And what you wanna look for is the microphone that's associated with your headset. So I'm in a Vive Pro, and so I've got this Vive Pro um, selected. This over here is like my gaming headset that I wouldn't use because I'm, I'm in my Vive Pro. Um, and these are some other options uh, that I use that you won't, that you won't need. Um, you'll know that you are, um, you, that you've got the right one selected because first of all, you're going to see all of this visual um, confirmation of your voice here and back up here. But also you can just click on listen to your voice and now you can hear your own voice in your head. Once you've got that figured out, you can just click on the close button. If you're not hearing anything, um, now you've got to check your audio output for your headphones. Um, I use system default, which works fine for me, but there are other ways that this will work as well. If I click on um, this one down here, Vive Pro uh, Audio, I can hear my own, I can hear uh, stuff. And if I click on speakers, Vive Pro, I can hear stuff. Um, other stuff in here, I don't, I, I don't uh, hear that. Um, so I would start with system default. Usually when you're testing this, there'll be somebody with you talking. Um, so uh, once you start to hear their voice, you'll know that you've got the right one. Now, there are some other audio options that come in handy. Up here on the left-hand side of the menu, and you'll see these no matter what tab you're in, they're always up there. Um, are a few audio options for how your voice is presented into the world. Uh, the green microphone option here is the normal one, and your voice is just gonna sound normal and spatialized. Um, this purple one over here puts a whisper bubble around you, um, and if you and somebody else both activate your whisper bubbles and stand next to each other, you will be in a quiet zone of audio, which is really helpful if you're in a crowded room with a lot of people talking. This will make it harder to hear the outside voices. They'll be muffled. And actually, your voices will also be muffled to the outsider. So it's a good way to have uh, a more private conversation. The button over here on the left is the mute button. That's pretty obvious. This one over here is the shout microphone. And if you notice, you'll see that this icon has two little lines of audio at the top, and this one has three. It doesn't make you louder, it just sends your voice farther, so that if somebody's standing a little bit farther away from you, they can more easily hear you. And it's sometimes in Alien Rescue, because our maps are so big, you might have somebody ask you, hey, go into shout mode. If they do, you just open up your dash like this, and just go quickly, go into shout mode, and now you'll be able to hear and be heard easier. Um, if we ask you that, we'll probably at some point ask you just to just go back to um, regular mode because we don't always need your voice traveling at great distances. This one over here is a broadcast audio. This will send your voice out to every person's headphones in the entire room. It's a little bit annoying, and I would advise that you don't do that. Okay, now I'm going to close the main menu, and I'm going to show you the secondary menu. Uh, for me, it's my top button on my index. Uh, on your Quest, it's probably the opposite button uh, from the main menu. And on a Vive, I think it's a short tap on the one button that you have. Um, once you're in this, you have a couple of options here. You can change your locomotion from walking to flying to teleport and others. Um, 
you can change your scape, uh, scaling. You can enable or disable that so that you can scale your avatar. And there's other options as well. All you have to do is just mouse over these and use a trigger to get into it. And then when you're done, uh, it'll go away on its own. Now I want to talk about how to um, manage contacts and uh, receive contact requests and receive invitations to Worlds. So as you remember, I've asked you for your Resonite username when you bought your ticket. And as soon as you give me that username, I will send you a contact request so that we get connected in Resonite. That's how I'll be able to invite you into Alien Rescue. So go ahead and go into your contacts tab and look for my name, click on it, and you'll see, for the first time, you'll see that I've sent you a contact request, and you just have to accept that request, and now we're connected. And then, on the day of the show, you're also going to use the Contacts tab. You're going to look for my name, and you're going to see that I've sent you an invitation to the lobby about 30 minutes before showtime. All you have to do is just click on that Join button, and you'll be taken directly to the lobby. Simple as that. Okay, now on the day of the show, when you join us in the lobby, I'm going to be there and the cast and crew will be there, so we're all going to be able to help you. But just to give you a sense of what it's going to look like and what you're going to do, I'll just show you a few of the steps. Um, so I'm just going to go into my POV mode here. Now, um, once you spawn in and get the world loaded up, you can stand on this blue circle to see yourself in the mirror. If you're an iBot, you're going to click on this Equip Avatar button, and then boom, now you are a little iBot. Okay? Or... If you are going to be a hero, you're going to click on one of these hero avatar buttons and you're going to spawn into your hero uh, uh, avatar. Once you've decided what avatar you want to be, you need to do a few new things. You're going to open up your inventory, uh, and I'm just using a temporary inventory. Yours is going to look a little bit different than this, but uh, I just wanted something clean because my actual inventory is quite cluttered. Um, and you're going to do two things. You're going to save this avatar by clicking on Save Avatar. And then once you see it in your inventory, you're going to select it once uh, and you'll see the background kind of changes. And then you're going to say set avatar and you'll see that the background goes this really shiny purple. The reason you do that, the reason you do that is so that now this inventory is in your, uh, this avatar is in your inventory. And if uh, you respawn during the game, if somebody shoots you and you get killed and you respawn, um, you'll respawn back into the proper um, avatar. That's really all there is to it. Hope that helps, and you can always reach out to me for individual one-on-one -on -one Resonite tutorial. Just send me an email or hit me up on Discord.